Jules and welcome back to Pokemon Thursday, the day of the week where we talk about absolutely anything to do with Barney the Dinosaur's Rectum. <laughs> Dan, you said we're here to talk about Pokemon. Yeah, we're here to talk about dinosaurs, bum bum. No, we're not really. We are here to talk about Pokemon. And more importantly for this week's edition of Pokemon Thursday, I thought we would do a cool video. I've just gone for free, my top three. Um, my top three Ash Ketchum teams, so that means, you know, his team are used in Galar, or team are used in, well, you know, Galar's kind of a weird in a minute, you know, Kalos, or Kanto, or Univer, or Hoenn. Basically, I wanted to choose my three favourite teams that Ash has, um, and, I mean, if you know me, you might be able to predict number one on this list, potentially, possibly, I don't know, um, but it's quite cool, because Ash has had some very interesting and unique te teams over the years. And he's also had some annoying teams. And also, we, we've, we've done a video combining a team of six using Ash's Pokemon. Um, and this was really hard to do. A couple of these are quite sentimental type teams in terms of like, oh, I love you. One of them's a bit like a, a histor historical team. And I kind of have to honour it and put it up there. <laughs> but visuals, I want to know what your favourite teams are that Ash has ever used in the comments below. Well, let's shut the fuck up and get talking about this big purple dinosaur's butt butt. Kicking us off with a number three. Oh, I pronounced three there with the T H. I'll never do that. I'm a, I'm a fog. Three. Um, we're gonna go for. This was a back and forward one. But I'm gonna go for the Kalos team. Now, the Kalos team was probably one of Ash's maybe strongest teams. You know, he had a good dragon type. It went a couple of dragon types in there. Obviously, we're gonna talk about the the, the teams because they do vary. You know, certain Pokemon at some stages come in and out. Like, for example, I'm including this team with the Gudra involved. We know Gudra went away for a bit and it come back and blah, blah, blah. <coughs> but his, his Kalos team was, was very special because not only was it the, the closest he got to becoming champion of a region, it was the time that I thought maybe he really deserved it. He had just got all the way to the final with this super strong team of Halucha, Noivern, Talonflame, Gudra, Greninja, and obviously Pikachu. Um... He did some special stuff with his team. Ash Greninja, everyone was shocked. No, this had never happened before. It wasn't a mega evolution. It was a proper, like, bonding. Greninja slowly started to form and change every now and then to look like Ash. It was a weird sort of um, odd mega evolution without any mega stuff. But I remember watching the final of this as if it was a real FA Cup final in Newcastle playing. And I'm giving it, ah, oh, you know, the Age of Slash and whatnot gets taken out and stuff. And they've been knocked out. And oh, he's in the Pikachu's out, Gudra's out. And then we get down to the Greninja and the, the Mega Charizard. And you're like, ah, oh, what's going to happen here? And then when it finally finished, I was like, no, it's kind of like the team against Newcastle in the FA Cup final just scored a last minute, 90, 90 minute goal winner. And I was like, I remember just being there like, Oh, he was so close, he should have had it. I mean, I kind of enjoy it because of storytelling and getting the audience proper going. We all thought we were going to get there. You know, it's been over 20 years, he's going to be champion. Um, and it never happened. But it's a special team because it's the first real team until it actually happened. That it felt like at the time, you're like, that's the closest our boy ever got. And he didn't do it then. Will he ever do it? So, yeah, there's a lot of loving for that team. And it's a very flyy sort of type team. Because what you got there, you got the Haluchas as one, Talonflame, Noiva. There's three flying types on that team. But it was a fantastic team. And I love it. And my second favourite Ash team is, of course, the uh, Alola team. It's not necessarily my favourite in terms of the Pokemon used. Because look at Zigala. We've got Naganador and an Ubi. Uh, an Ubi. A, a Ubi. Uh, obviously Pikachu. Uh, we've got the Incineroar, who was only Incineroar. Obviously, we see what happens in the battle. The Rowlet, the Pikachu, and the Melmetal. So it was a very odd and obscure team. Um, I always feel like I know what sort of Pokemon Ash would have on his team, right? Even though I did a prediction video for like the Gala stuff. And that, nev that, that was an awful prediction. Um... But a lot of the Pokemon from the Alola decks, you look at it and you go, I can't see a lot of them lining up with Ash. They just don't fit like his sort of how he would how he is. It I don't know if it's hard to explain. I always feel like we could like you look at Ash team and you go, that makes sense, that makes sense. Like like we just mentioned the Cows team. Every single one of the Pokemon make perfect sense to be with Ash. Um 
But this was, without a shadow of a doubt, a great team. And a great team I had to honour because it finally got one of my... That's right, I'm going to say this as a 28-year-old man. One of my ultimate heroes in life. It finally got him his first championship. And I freaking... I just loved it. That The battle was amazing. We oh, Did I mention Lycan Rock? Did I mention Lycan Rock? Naganadol, Malmetal, Pikachu, Incineroar, Rowlet, Duskform, Lycan Rock. I don't know if I mentioned that. The way that it all went down, pitting up against each other, the you know, and you know, like Rock against Like and Rock and stuff. It was such a great, great, great team. Um, like I said, not necessarily what I'd go for. I wouldn't usually have a Melmetal or a Naganadol, even though Naganadol is the only Ultra Beast I will fully accept. The rest can all go fuck themselves. Um Cinderella's awesome though, Rowlet's awesome, Pikachu, yeah, Pikachu's Pikachu, and Lycanroc's awesome, so I'd, I'd use two thirds of his team, um, but we, I have to give it props and I have to say thank you to this team and put it in the top ten, or the top three, because it's the team that got our boy his first championship and I was so over the moon and so happy, so yeah, number two spot. <laughs> Finally, a team for Ash, which I've purely gone on nostalgia and love for, because it's a team that necessarily didn't do a great lot for him. You've got to remember, I've gone for his Gen 1 team. You've got to remember, he didn't get majorly, majorly far in the um, Indigo League. Yes, he did well in the Orange Islands and stuff with this team. Um, the, a lot of the gym badges were, were full-on shenanigans how he got the gym badges. The team didn't actually like proper do a hell of a lot for him. In terms of friendship and stuff, we all see them cutting in the tunnel and whatnot. But yeah, his Canton team is just so special. We've seen, we've got the the four, we'll call them the four starters. Pikachu, Squirtle, Bob, Sword, Charmander, obviously. But then you could start to mix it up a li little bit. We could chuck the likes of Primeape in there, Butterfree, uh, Muck, Snorlax, Lapras, Tauros. It's, there's a different combination you've gone for, but I've obviously gone for, sorry, spoiler alert to anybody that knows me, the Pidgeotto. And I also went for, where is my list? Where is my list? Where is my list? Do your homework, Dan. Do your revision. Uh, I went for yeah, and the Snorlax. So I've gone for the four starters, Pidgeotto and Snorlax. Could have went for Pidgeot, but we know that when everything that transpired, we only saw Pidgeot for a brief time. He saved the Pidgeot, the other Pidgeotos and Pidgeys from the Spear of Heroes and fucked them off and whatnot. And I love the fact that he had a Pidgeot and I want a Pidgeot to come back. Um, Pokemon. I'm going for the Pidgeotto because, again, he did so much. He was one of the first few Pokemon he caught. Uh, oh, no, was he not the first? Can I remember? No, was it Catapia then Pidgeotto? Pidgeotto the Cat... He was one of the OG, OG members of the team. I friggin' loved him so much. For a while, he was his strongest main player. you got to remember he had a, a stage one Pokemon early doors going through the, the early part of his Kanto adventure. Uh, helped out in loads of situations. In, in one of the, he's, in, he's in the intro card for the first ever anime. I love Pidgeot anyway. And Snorlax, Snorlax is Snorlax. He's an absolute beast. Again, I'm, for this number one spot, I'm going a lot of nostalgia. I really am because it's my original trilogy of starters. It's Pikachu, the franchise player. It's my first time watching the anime, playing the games, doing the training cards, reading books and mangas and stuff. It's it's the, the pinnacle um, of Pokemon greatness for me personally because I'm a Gen 1 kid. So yeah, the Gen 1 team is my favourite team of all time. And I've gone for, I'll say it one more time, the four starters, Snorlax and Pidgeotto. But like I said, you can have Lapras, Taurus, Primate, Butterfree. You could sort of mix and match the Kanto team up a fair bit. But number one, the Kanto team. And there we have it, visuals. That was my favourite, uh, my three favourite Ash Ketchum teams. Because he's had a lot of... It. Who else could I have potentially gone for? The Hoenn team was decent, you know, Sceptile and everybody. That that was cool. Uh, Corpfish, cool. Um, you know, the team... Uh, no, I, no, I wouldn't have gone for the Unova team, I don't think. Even though they did quite all right, I wouldn't have gone for the Unova team. It was quite cool that, you know, Pikachu took out a few legendaries in the Hoenn team. Uh, the Sinnoh team was a hard one not to get in this list, but ultimately... Again, they didn't. They did well. Obviously, we beat Gary with his team. You had Heracross in there, and the Don fan and stuff, and the way that he acquired some of his Pokemon. It's a, a, a team that I did want to put on the list. But in terms of what they actually did for me as a fan, without being biased, because we all know Heracross is uh, is in my top three favorite Pokemon stuff. I try to be biased and try and go off the team of what they did for me as a fan.
The, the, yeah, we. <laughs> you ask me again in a week's time, I probably will change my mind. But visuals, they're all my three favourite Ash Ketchum Pokemon teams. Let me know yours in the comments below. Who was your favourite? Who was your least favourite? Who was your favourite on each team? Who was your least favourite on each team? Which Pokemon do you wish Ash did catch or didn't catch or whatever you want to let me know? But visuals, apart from that, that was Pokemon Thursday. And if you didn't enjoy well, Booski or Booski, let me know in the comments below. Anything you want to let me know about, just, just absolutely anything. Hopefully you're doing all right. Let me know that you're doing all right in the comments below. And apart from that visuals, thank you so much for watching. You guys are literally the fucking best from most keeping you. And keep on keeping out. <laughs>